in 1984 when the crack was going and the crime was going they started privatizing prisons so corporate America got involved in prison for profit so you know what the greatest growth industry in America is prisons now look brothers any of you in business if you're gonna set up a McDonald's what do you do you got to check and see what kind of foot traffic or car traffic you have so that you know you don't put it in a desolate area right the feasibility studies that were done says that since there's more crack in the black community and they're fermenting or fomenting gang violence and there's more guns in the black community then if we give un, uh, uh, unusually long sentences for crack cocaine then we got five years ten years maybe life and we got us a slave because now we're gonna tie prison to industry so we will have a fat bottom line on the back of niggas I know some of you are in the armed forces and they've offered you a job and we thank them but you gonna have to find another employer because he's getting you ready for the frying pan making a killer out of you and then making you bringing you back from Europe because they don't need you over there no more and setting you in your own community then filling the community with drugs and guns and since you are trained killers then kill each other and that's exactly what you've been doing You think it's an accident? No! It's by design. And because you don't know yourself and don't know them and don't know the time and what must be done, you fall right into the plan and become agents of your own destruction. Hear me. You know that the Muslims in Washington went into a dope-ridden project development. And without guns, God blessed us to do what? Clean it up. And you know who our worst enemy was? The police. They came and drew guns on the brothers who were unarmed <clears throat> and the brothers never backed down though they never had a gun in Baltimore in New York in Pittsburgh in Los Angeles everywhere the brothers went the brothers who deal in drugs they respect the nation and without any force because we know that we come from that we're not there to throw down on our brothers we just want to clean up the neighborhood the government did not care what kind of good job the brothers were doing because we were interfering with the conspiracy so under the name anti-semitism they took the brothers out of all these projects and the moment the brothers left the drugs came back the gangs came back and the killing came back because that is what the US government wants to see continue among us